Visit SailRight.com for all your project supplies, tools, and instructions. In this video, we'll show you how to pattern and cut out a mat that is made from a moisture prevention underliner, a liner that creates a strong, lightweight, breathable barrier which will allow for ventilation and drainage in our storage compartment. This product is Durastrem, and this is what we're going to create our patterns with. We use it for everything from Dodgers and Viminis and boat covers uh, to uh, mat applications like this. And basically, I just need to rough cut it uh, to get it to fit in here. After we cut our patterning material down in size, we'll place it in our storage compartment and then trace along two of the edges. I find it very easy to mark two sides, cut those sides so that they will rest squarely inside, then come back and mark the other two sides. So I have done that already, just with a black marker, and now we need to cut this away. have done a lot of this. Uh, you may even want to tape this down. Uh, sometimes that's easier to get a better pattern, but uh, I've done quite a bit of this, so I don't find it to be that difficult. I'm going to stand in here. That'll help to hold it in place. I made a slight pattern adjustment here, which I'll recut on that, but I've got a drain right here and I want to have that area be open. So I'm just gonna pattern around it. This is the moisture prevention fabric. And you can see, uh, if you can see my hand on the back side, it allows for great breathability under, under cushions, but also for your gear that gets wet. And if you look at the side profile here, as I squeeze it, you can see it compresses. And there are all kinds of little fibers on the inside that help push, push it up so air can easily get through it. So it's excellent for applications like this. A grease pencil, white, marks fairly well on it for patterning and also the chalk. But as you can see, it seems like the grease pencil works a little bit better than the chalk, so I'm going to use it for patterning. I've got the pattern on top of the moisture prevention fabric, and I'm going to place uh, some sandbags and make sure that everything is laying as flat as possible. And then I'm going to carefully uh, mark around the material. I don't like cutting the material with the pattern on top, which is what I sometimes do with other projects, but with this, it's not as easy to cut it so I like to have it marked really well. So we're going to just trace around the entire perimeter uh, with this grease pencil marking our moisture prevention fabric. So we have it traced around and we need to cut two of these out so I'll use that again for a, another pattern here. There is no right side or wrong side. Now when you cut through this material um, you're going to see that there's a lot of fibers and those are the fibers in the middle and they're gonna kinda come out like whiskers after you shave all over the table. And what we'll do after we're done cutting it out is we'll kinda shake this and uh, those fibers will hopefully pretty much be removed. So when we take it to the final uh, resting place, <laughs> and I'm not talking about graveyards, there will be very few fibers that come out at that point. Here's what I mean by all these fibers. Um, and what we'll do is we'll shake it really well at the end and uh, they will hopefully not be uh, present uh, when we take it to the boat. There we go. Now what we'll do is we'll kind of take it and shake it really well, get all those fibers out of there. And we need to cut out a second one. Now our moisture prevention fabric is ready to be installed in our storage compartment on the boat. 
moisture prevention underlining is perfect for use underneath mattresses, cushions, or pet beds. In your boat cabin, truck, RV, tent, camper, home, or anywhere else that ventilation is needed. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call or email. We're glad to help. From all of us here at Sailrite, I'm Seth Grant. Thanks for watching.